What is going on YouTube? Crypto for Change here. My name is David and yeah, we all woke up to red everywhere in the crypto market. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that, what I see with the overall market, uh, you know, what I'm doing obviously with my crypto that I have uh, and just some advice on what I would recommend as we go through this time and we move forward with 2022. So if that interests you, be sure to watch all the way till the end. Also, do me the favor of smashing that like button, subscribing if you're new to the channel, and turning on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. And let's go take a look at this market. We are over here on coinmarketcap.com. It's where we're going to start. And guys, it is, I mean, red everywhere. Uh, I don't know if anything really is unscathed from, you know, the sell-off we are seeing. Uh, so it's understandable that there is probably a lot of panic. There is a lot of worry, fear, FUD, you name it, in the streets. Uh, and, you know, I know that we're always saying that this is the time to buy. But if you're like most people, you probably had already been buying the dip uh, and then it kept dipping and dipping and dipping. Uh, and, and obviously now we see an even bigger dip. So it's, it, I understand that it gets frustrating and it gets tough to hang during these periods. Uh, but really, this is how millionaires are made. This is how people who are going to make it uh, end up solidifying themselves uh, is holding through times like these and buying more. I mean, you're seeing Algorand right now down back to 89 cents. Guys, when I first found Algorand and I started buying, which I haven't been in since the beginning, but I was buying it right around the 80 cents to 90 cents range. I didn't think that we were gonna make it back to here, but we are here. So now we gotta look at the realistic uh, you know, strategies that we can implement to make money and to make it out of this and make it better on the other end. So obviously if we take a look at Bitcoin, cause it's still the big dog, it's leading the charge. It's at 35,203. Uh, we look at just on the year to date, um, you know, it's been pretty red. You know, 2021 was a great year. We saw obviously the big run for Bitcoin. We saw it come down and crash quite a bit. If we look back here and we just look at all time, uh, I'm actually gonna zoom in a little bit just to right here. Cause this starts right about here is where you get the start of 2021. So yeah, you see this massive run up all the way to the 64,000 range. And then we had a really big crash. I mean, we saw a huge correction here from those highs of 64,000 in April all the way down. And it took months, three months almost to hit the bottom right under 30,000. And then we saw the next big charge up, which took us all the way up to 67, 68, 9,000, somewhere right in that ballpark. And, and that was in November. So December, January, February, three months would put us, if we did the same thing we did in last year, this year, which is, you know, a three month bear market, you could say, or drag, and then we recover, uh, you know, we could still see more red. Um, and I know a lot of people are out there calling for Bitcoin, you know, they're saying this is it, it's done, it's going to, you know, under 20,000. Um, I'm not that bearish yet. I don't think we're going to hit 20,000. But I do think we could see upper 20 thousands. Uh, I don't think we're going to get down into the low 20 thousands, but I think we could see a retest of this support that we had back in 2021 for Bitcoin before we really see what's going to fully happen, um, you know, with, you know, the overall market. Uh, and I know that that is un it's unnerving. It's hard to watch, uh, especially when, you know, you're just waking up, you want to enjoy your weekend, you want to go out and do some fun things and you wake up to this. Guys, I live in Florida. It's supposed to be sunny and warm right now. That's the benefit of living in Florida during the winter. It well, I woke up and it was 50 degrees and rainy on a day like today. Like, I didn't get out of it at all either. So, uh, you know, it's not fun, I get it, um, but this is part of investing in crypto is it is super, super volatile and you have to be ready for that volatility uh, and implement strategies and ways that can make you earn money even through it. Uh, and then let's go over and take a look at our favorite Algorand. Uh, like I said, it's back to the under, you know, under a dollar, 89 cents right now, down 21% on the day. Uh, if we go look at the day chart, though, it did hit down near, uh, yeah, right at 80 cents. So we're back up a decent amount from that uh, low right there. But there could still be some red ahead, even if we see some type of dead cat bounce and we kind of get a relief bounce or a relief rally it could still go lower. Uh, I'm obviously not hoping that, but I will tell you this, I am buying. 
Guys, I have not sold any of my algo. It is still in governance uh, and it's still in various uh, DeFi platforms earning me passive income and passive crypto because my plan from the start, if you followed along with the channel, my plan to become a millionaire in crypto and just to, and not even really become a millionaire in crypto, but to have financial freedom uh, and to be able to do the things I want with my family without having to, you know, put in 40, 80 hours a week at a job or my wife to do that is to be able to earn passive income through investing. And so my strategy is a long term one. It's finding good projects that I can invest in stake my money if possible uh, or you know in real estate or crypto or whatever it may be and earn passive income that will pay me down the road and algorand has a lot of great DeFi platforms that can help you make money in this type of market uh, and the good thing is it's on a massive sale guys so you can be buying algorand I mean, if you were buying it at $1.80, if you were buying it at above $2 and you thought, you know, because I saw the tweets, I saw so many people tweeting that, you know, algo under $2 is a steal. Well, if algo under $2 is a steal, algo under a dollar is a mega, mega steal. So, you know, I will be buying. Uh, I'm looking to see uh, where I'm going to buy it from and how much, but just wanted you to guys know I've not sold anything, still holding it all. Algorand is still growing. Like the fundamentals of what Algorand is and what it is doing have not changed. So the over, so this, this, you know, slide that we're seeing is not because Algorand has went offline or it's it's down or it's crashing or it's not working. Algorand is still building at a pace unlike many other layer ones that are out there and is still better than most other layer ones that are out there. So I am still very bullish on Algorand for 2022. And I still think by the end of 2022, we are going to see Algorand set a new all time high, which would be above that $2.50 mark that we set last year. So this is, like I said, a great buying opportunity. I hope we find some support right here in this, you know, 80 cent range that we're in. I hope we don't see it go lower, but if we do, guess what? I'm still going to be buying. And then we come over and we take a look at Yieldly. Yieldly's finally fell back under a penny. Uh, it was sitting, you know, pretty well above a penny for most of it and had a lot of support there. Uh, obviously, where you know it started right at a penny, went to under, you know, almost half a penny, ran all the way to three cents. And like I said, we've sat in between there for a long time. And I think obviously just with the overall market, a little bit of the FUD that came out when, you know, they announced the partnership with the eSport or with Polygon Studios and how they were going to be building the new token. I think some of that drama as well as just the overall market is why we've seen such a massive slide on it. But I still am bullish on Yieldly for the long term. It, it is a great way to make some good passive income. And then we look at Opulus. That's another crypto that I'm really bullish on for 2022. And it's at $1.25. Guys, I was buying this at 60 cents, 70 cents, which was way back here. And it ran all the way to $7.54 was its high before obviously we've seen this huge slide come with the entire market. Uh, and there's you know been a lot of selling pressure. And there's still a lot of, you know, wait uh, and, and anticipation, I would say, for you know the Opulus app to release, for people to start earning money off the royalties of these songs. A little Pump song just dropped yesterday, so April is expected to be the first royalties payout for the people who invested in that. So there is still so many reasons, guys, to be bullish on crypto for 2022. And the prices you're seeing right now, I think, are huge, huge discounts that if, you've, if you're not in it, you could jump into some of these projects. And if you are in it, this is your time to double down, you know, get your, put your big boy pants on, get, you know, your convictions in on what you see long-term potential in. And that's where I would be putting my money. Now, I want to shift a little bit to, you know, David, how, do, how are you holding through all of this and not selling, not panic selling? I would say the strategy that I have used and that I find most effective is putting my money to work. Because if my money or my crypto is making more crypto for me passively, it makes these type of dips easier to stomach because at least I'm still earning crypto and earning money during this, you know, during the red that we're seeing. One of the best places that I've been able to earn that is through Yieldly. Uh, not only am I participating in the staking pools, uh, which are paying good APY, 
but I am also participating in just this one liquidity pool they have here where I have my Akita algo staked on Tiny Man, and I'm also then staked here earning passive yieldly. Uh, so this is one great tool that I use. I have plenty of videos that go over how to use yieldly, so you can go check those out if you're new. I also have Lofty AI properties, so you can actually buy with fiat, uh, you can buy uh, rental properties and you get paid daily in rent and then obviously these are going to appreciate as the housing market appreciates so it's a a little bit more i would say solid or safe investment uh, than some of these volatile crypto assets but you can also if you're an international investor you can get paid daily in algo and in crypto so that is another huge advancement it is coming for us investors that they'll be able to earn the royalty payments uh, or the rent payments in crypto as well but there's some legislation that they have to get through before they can fully uh, you know get that uh, done on the site but still tons of good good ways there and we have the new algo fi which is another place where if you have algorand if you have stable usdc go bitcoin go eth you can park these here and you can be earning some good apy and letting your money earn you money passively guys that's what you want to be doing you want to be able to make money while you sleep uh, and especially when the markets are dipping like they are now you know, this is what I think makes it easier to stomach these falls is when you know, hey, at least I'm still claiming and I'm still making money each and every day. And when we get past this and say six months from now, you know, we're super green and the market's super bullish and everybody is just, you know, high fiving and, and everyone's a, perf you know, a know it all again guess what? You will be even more proud and even more happier that you didn't sell and you bought and you staked and you earned all that passive because it's going to make you more money. Uh, and the last place that you can put your money in the uh, Algorand DeFi ecosystem and make money is you can actually pool uh, or add your um, your crypto assets to Tiny Man uh, as liquidity and you can earn yield there. And you can come over to the analytics page, see kind of what some of the APYs are paying out for these different pools. Um, you know, like I said, though, there is risk with each of these. Uh, obviously, do your own research before investing in any cryptocurrency or especially within any DeFi application because there is the risk of losing your money, uh, just you know, price appreciation like, like we've seen, stuff dropping. So make sure to go out there and do your own research, guys. Uh, I know the market is red and I know it has not been uh, a lot of fun to be you know, waking up on days like today, but just remember, it's just a day. There's gonna come another day and another day after that where I believe we will see green, we will see greener days and we will be able to uh, you know, like I said, get back to high-fiving, talking great things about Algorand's price, and and hopefully making a lot of money out there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today, just going over my reactions to the current market that we're seeing, uh, and just things that I'm doing to make passive income in the crypto markets. Uh, you know, I do know that there is a lot of potential in Algorand's ecosystem in 2022 and beyond, so I am bullish on Algorand bullish on Yieldly, Opulus, Zones coming out soon, guys. That is a crypto I'm going to be doing a video coming out very soon once they uh, announce what exchange they're going to be listing on. So you won't want to miss out on that. So like I said, make sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out. And do me the favor of smashing that like button, guys. It goes a long way in helping the channel get out there and get noticed by more people so that we can bring more algo knots into this world. And until next time, guys, Let's get out there and make some money.